What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers I provided. Today we're back with another profile piece. This one is on Briss. In this video, we're going to take a look at his early life growing up in Sacramento, California, where he was showing interest in music from an early age. Then, we will talk about his music career, which dates back to 2016 and the different rap beef he was engaged in. And lastly, we will focus on the Sacramento hip-hop scene before diving into the details surrounding the shooting death of Briss in June of 2020. Christopher Treadwell, better known as Briss, is from the Fruit Ridge section of Sacramento. Growing up, Briss was always a cool laid-back kid that for some reason didn't like school too much. He would start affiliating with some bloods from around his area and eventually drop out of high school. From there, he would focus on trying to hustle and get some money in the streets, but it wouldn't be as easy as he thought. Things like catching cases, going to jail, or losing friends to the system and death would start to become reality in Briss's life. His cousin Mac J would start rapping and little by little start getting on Briss to rap also. At first Briss would just play around with it until 2016 when he would drop his first music video non-stop. The video would do some numbers on YouTube and motivate Briss to start taking rap more serious. The new local buzz and rise in internet fame was a result of the people taking to his music in Sacramento. Briss would release a few more videos like Blue Check and Chains Off to solidify himself as a rapper. Next, he would link up with G-Man, another up and coming rapper with a nice buzz out of Sacramento. The two would join forces for their 1042 mixtape highlighted by the videos for Butt Naked and Blood Brothers. Those two videos combined have about 3 million views on YouTube. The success of that project would get Briss more fame and notoriety locally as the streets of Sac started to feel like he was one of the rappers from the city that was next up after Mozzie had blew up musically. Briss would start doing more promo and interviews to build his presence on the internet, along with going to LA with G-Man to promote the mixtape and upcoming projects they had in the works. Briss was becoming a big deal in the Sacramento music scene as a new face ready to take over. For years, artists like Mozzie and Lavish D was all you heard about in the city. But songs like Panhandling and Spark of Fuse would connect with his fans and put Briss in the lane of his own musically. It will also put a bigger target on his back. Enemies in the streets and rival rappers like Uzi Marcus would start to diss Briss and his hood consistently in music videos and on social media. Briss would talk about the hate he was receiving and crazy life he was living at the moment in certain interviews. He spoke about wanting to make a way out for him and his family and friends with his music. Briss fans would continue to fall in love with his personality, flow, and tricky dance moves that he displayed in his music videos. The dance moves gave him a different dynamic over some of the other rappers in the city who just showed guns and seemed too tough to dance in their rap videos. Briss fan base was growing and his career was headed in the right direction when in October of 2019 the law sat him down for a few months for having a gun in his video. It broke the rules of his probation and Briss was sent to jail putting a halt to his budding rap career. While in jail, Briss's buzz continued to grow, his views on YouTube continued to rise, and eventually Bay Area heavyweight Filthy Rich reached out to work with Briss. Once released from jail around April of 2020, Briss would be on the radar of certain labels who were in contact with him about potentially signing a record deal. Briss would shoot a video for the song Kamikaze with Filthy Rich and Mac J. He would also shoot a video for his solo song No Hammy, which would end up being the last video that he released while alive, because in June of 2020, Briss would be shot and killed in South Sacramento, near the intersection of Fruit Ridge Road and Franklin Boulevard. The shooting was preceded by a car crash. Briss then jumped out his car and ran across the street around a building where he was chased and killed. The sad footage of his girl finding him shot and of him running from his killers made its way to Instagram and YouTube. Briss's ops went live after his death, making jokes and some still diss him to this day. In September, a few weeks after Briss's death, Sacramento police made arrests in the case when Moses Hirschfield, 19 of Sacramento, was arrested in North Sacramento and booked on homicide charges. The case is still pending and playing itself out in court, so we have to see what the outcome will be. But it's safe to say Sacramento lost one of his most talented up and coming rappers that looked destined for greater things when he lost Briss. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV is a quick profile piece of Christopher Treadwell, better known as Briss, out of Sacramento, Fruit Ridge. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to him. Condolences to his family. He definitely an artist that I felt was destined for greater things. You know what I'm saying? It was probably only a matter of time before, you know, he got with a label. You know what I'm saying? Tightened up his business and was able to start making money off of music. You know what I'm saying? Make him a career. Help his family. Help himself out. You know what I'm saying? But sadly, he got killed. I think he was around 24 years old, if I ain't mistaken. You know what I'm saying? But 
Sacramento got a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? It's like these other cities that but you don't really hear about it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the Chicago, the Phillies, the Memphis, you know what I'm saying? All these different areas, Texas, but they got their own thing going on, but, you know, it's, they, they they don't got too, you really got Mozzie out of there, and you don't got too many, you got Lavish D still, but he ain't really blow up, like, you know what I'm saying? You got Uzi, Uzi Marcus, you know what I'm saying, who was beefing with with Briss and all that, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't had to, they, ain't, they, they all got their style and all that, but, you know, he had to, Briss had the tricky dance moves, so he had a whole different spin to what he was doing, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I definitely felt he would have had Destined for Greater Things, you know what I'm saying, if he wasn't killed. Now, like I said, they did catch somebody, supposedly that they got for the homicide. We got to see how that plays out. If it's guilty, not guilty, we got to wait and see. But, you know what I'm saying, that's all I really got for tricky dance moves. Briss, rest in peace to him. Also, go follow the Instagram. The merch is up there, the Patreon, the membership, the email. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back before you know it, man. It's Poe Roll. We out of here, man. Peace.